Electricity is a kind of energy that we use every day. It's an essential part of our modern lives, powering everything from our homes to our gadgets. It's what makes our lights turn on, our TVs play, and our toys move. Without electricity, many of the conveniences we take for granted wouldn't be possible. Electricity is made up of tiny particles called electrons that are always moving. These electrons flow through wires and circuits, creating the energy we use. These electrons are so small that we can't even see them. They are part of atoms which make up everything around us. Think of electricity like water flowing through a hose. Just as water flows from one end to the other, electrons move through wires to deliver energy. The water is like the electrons and the hose is like the wire. This analogy helps us understand how electricity travels. The water flows through the hose and the electrons flow through the wire. This flow of electrons is what powers our devices and appliances. Now that we know what electricity is, let's learn how it travels to our homes. From power plants to our outlets, it's a fascinating journey. Electricity travels from power plants to our homes through wires. These wires are like long, thin roads that the electricity follows. When we plug something into an outlet, we are connecting it to these wires. The electricity flows through the wires and into our device, giving it the power to work. Sometimes, the electricity needs to travel a long way from the power plant to our homes. That's why we have power lines that carry electricity high above the ground. Now that we know how electricity travels, let's explore the difference between batteries and plugged-in power. Batteries and plugged-in power are both sources of electricity, but they work in different ways. Batteries store electricity inside them. They're like little containers of energy that we can use to power our toys, flashlights, and other devices. Plugged-in power, on the other hand, comes from power plants through wires. When we plug something in, we're getting a continuous flow of electricity. Now that we know the difference between batteries and plugged-in power, let's learn how power plants make electricity. Section 4. Power Plants. Where the magic happens. Power plants are like giant factories that make electricity. They are complex and fascinating places where raw energy is transformed into the electricity that powers our homes, schools, and businesses. They use different sources of energy to do this. These sources can be as varied as the wind that blows, the water that flows, and the sun that shines. Some power plants use wind, water, or the sun to make electricity. These are known as renewable energy sources because they are naturally replenished. These sources of energy are called renewable sources because they never run out. They are sustainable and help reduce our carbon footprint. Other power plants use coal or gas to make electricity. These are known as non-renewable energy sources. These sources of energy are called non-renewable sources because they can run out. Once we use them up, they're gone forever. It's important to use more renewable sources of energy because they are better for our planet. They help us fight climate change and protect our environment. Now let's learn how we can save electricity. Simple actions like turning off lights, unplugging devices, and using energy-efficient appliances can make a big difference. Section 5. Be a super saver. Saving electricity is cool. Saving electricity is important because it helps us use less energy and protect our planet. When we save electricity, we reduce the amount of fossil fuels burned to generate power which means fewer greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere. Here are three simple ways to save electricity that you can start doing today. 1. Turn off the lights when you leave a room. It's a small action, but it can have a big impact over time. Even a few minutes can make a difference. Imagine how much energy we can save if everyone does this. 2. Unplug chargers when you're not using them. Many people don't realize that chargers continue to draw power even when they're not connected to a device. They use electricity even when they're not charging anything. This is called 
phantom load or vampire power. 3. Ask your parents to buy energy efficient appliances. These appliances are designed to use less electricity while still performing their tasks effectively. These appliances use less electricity which saves energy and money. Over time the savings can really add up. Remember, every little bit helps. Small actions can lead to big changes when everyone participates. By saving electricity, we can make a big difference for our planet. It's a simple way to contribute to a healthier environment. So there you have it. We've learned all about electricity, from how it travels to our homes to how we can save it. Remember to use electricity wisely and help protect our planet. Every action counts and together we can make a significant impact. Let's all be super savers and make our world a better place for everyone.